this regard, I wish to emphasize that the acting attorney general has issued regulations defining my authority and jurisdiction in precisely the same terms as were used in defining those of Professor Cox with what I think is a notable and, and significant addition of a firm and formal assurance that the president has agreed not to exercise his constitutional power to affect my discharge except in accordance with the consensus of the bipartisan leadership of the House and the Senate and of the judiciary committees of both houses. In particular, prior to acceptance, I was given unqualified assurance that there would be absolutely no constraints on my freedom to seek any and all evidence, wherever it may be, including the presidential files, and to invoke the judicial process should I consider it necessary.